Hey everybody, welcome back to Miss C Can. I'm Miss C and today we can play Niche. Unfortunately, we have lost our jewel tribe. I, I accidentally corrupted some video files and I was not able to save them. So they have been lost to time and we must start again with a whole new tribe. So I'll see you back when we start our new t when we start our new episode. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is our brand new episode with our brand new tribe which I've decided to dub the Bishop Tribe. Welcome to Meet the Bishops. Meet the Bishops Takiakir and Lamire. And together they're going to start this brand new adventure, throw their family into danger and see how well they do. Off we go. All right, let's check out your genes first, buddy. He's got horns, he's got, his eyesight isn't that great. He's short eyed eyesight, recessive, love that. He has normal blood clotting. That's good. C and D. A and B. She has digging pot. Oh, she has blindness. Okay. So, one of Lemire's parents must have been blind. I wonder I wonder if that's why she sort of, she just sort of wandered out from underneath their paws and then met Takir Kir. And Takir Kir said, don't worry, I can protect you. And she said, okay, and just wandered off. <laughs> These two seem kind of carefree. So let's just let's just let's just come over here and uh, make sure she has some healthy eyesighted kids. And I like good back paws. I like good eyesight and I like good back paws because otherwise just why? <laughs> Okay, all right, we're off to a good start. We're seated next to a berry bush. I'm gonna clear out all this grass around us. Neither one of them are very strong berry pickers, I don't believe. One, one and one, Ooh. But they have they have really good movement. See here, guys, this right here is how much, how much speed, how far you can go. So when we have an opportunity to clear out all this grass, he can zip and zip across the island, which is really cool, and I love that. Yep. But we're gonna have some babies as soon as possible, because their lifespans aren't very long. If you look over here, you can see this, this is their life bar. When it fills all the way up, they die. Um, they, they're adults, so they have the three little gems. One, two, three. She does two. One, two, three. And when that, and um, that means they get three moves per day. Oh my goodness! All right, here we go, bishops. What we got? What we gonna, What are we gonna do? Oh, we don't have enough material. No, we have enough material. You just can't make a nest on the warp tiles. Okay. Let's move this a bit so we can see everything. All right. baby he's got strength we got a little baby boy Reduke here and now anytime a new member is born into our tribe we get to go into our special little list over here that I've, I've pull, pulled up and we get to pick a name from from said list because he has claw and he's our first little boy with claw he's gonna be pulled out from our from our gem name list from all of our stones so come here buddy we gonna name you. We are going to call you. Looking down the list. Looking down the list. Let's call him Zarkon. Zircon. Zircon is is a bronze gemstone. That's pretty cool. And all of his children will become will come will get names from our stone and gem list. And that's just how I'm gonna roll. <laughs> So Zircon, welcome to the family, buddy. How is his berry picking? His berry picking is none. Oh Lord, okay, we need some berry pickers in our family. We're not gonna survive. Oh, okay. Step out of the nest, mama. Let's see. We got some cleaning up to do. 
Oh, it's a beautiful rainy day! Okay. So, I'm not exactly sure what this family's goal is going to be. Whether it be run off into adventure or maybe find something... Maybe they should go find the jungles or something like that. I'm, I personally have never been to the jungle jungles just yet. Every time I get there, I, I get chicken out and I kind of run away. So maybe this will be what this, tri this, this tribe is about. Running into the jungles, into these hard locations. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Next day. Oh, we got another little boy! Kiernu! Your name is not going to stay Kiernu, let's see. Oh, he's got one... He's got one in berry clip collecting. Hmm. Good feet. His eyes need some work. How about you, Zarkon? That blindness inactive. Ah, all right, let's see. We just have to watch him because he will have some blind babies and we're not careful. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's move mom over. I don't have enough- oh, I don't have enough material! Well, nuts! Okay. <sighs> oh. My starting pair will only have three babies. And, and, and... We'll see how far the family can get. So hopefully this, la this last little one will be a girl. Otherwise we're going to have a problem. Let's see. Okay, we're good. Day. He's old enough to move out of the nest. Oh, I didn't name him! Karenu, you almost got away from me! Let's see. You know what? I think I wanted to wait. I'm gonna wait for this last baby to be born. Because I have three I have three name lists that I'm picking from. I have the stone name I have the stone um list, which is going to be for our fighting line, our strength and warriors. I have my my Mystic Twilight name list, which is going to be more for our runners and our stealth our stealth creatures. And then I have our fruit and berry name list, which is going to be for our berry pickers. Um, and I won't know who to bestow the berry name list onto. Oops, sorry, Mike. I won't know who to bestow the berry name the berry name list onto. Or the twilight nation, the time twilight list onto until I see this last baby. Hmm. Dad needs to come over here and come on, come pick these. Yep. Okay. Last baby. Here we go. Oh, the little little boy. <laughs> He looks almost exactly like his mother, and um, well, he's got he's got a better berry picking. He's got a better collecting, so his name is going to be. Let's call him Asai. Asai, welcome to the family, buddy. And then, Kiernu. Kiernu, I'm gonna call you Twilight. And we are just gonna roll with that. So the three brothers have been born. They have a whole island to explore. They have all this stuff to do. And our three lines are back. Now, unfortunately, we can't stay on this island. It's just... Well, it's, it's small. Hmm. We'll stay here and we'll try to build up some food. Because we only have ten and we have we have five creatures and we have ten pieces of food. So that's only good for, what, this day and the next? So, our job is not to let them starve. <laughs> One more day. Here we go. Alright, Mama. Ooh, Bunny has appeared. Okay. Who can reach the bunny? Where'd the bunny go? 
How did we lose the bunny? My bunny is fast. I can still smell him, though. And I smell... Berry bushes! Okay. Berry bushes everywhere! Oh! This is wonderful! Okay, let's just clear out some of this grass. We want to be able to see where we're going, because the better we can see, the more we can have our really healthy running leg... <laughs> running leg creatures run around and actually zip across the island. And... That's okay. Next day. Oh, we're out of food. Okay. We are out of food. We have five creatures. But you can pick... Asai can pick two berries at a time. And his brother can destroy this berry bush. You know, that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have Zarkon do, Zircon do that. He's gonna come over here. He's gonna destroy stuff. Up, ah, up, ah, I see the bunny. Eh. Got it. Oh no, that might have upset Asai. Takirkir just came over and slapped the bunny that was underneath his feet like, son. You had this bunny under you. And he's like, Dad, no! <laughs> okay. I'm pulling up roots. And... Alright. So we have more than enough food to make this little family make it. Okay, that's good. That's always good. Next day. Zircon is going to run out into the grass, and I think this little boy is going to come over here. Twilight's going to come over here, and he's going to pick from a berry bush with his mother. They're not the best berry pickers, but we really don't have much of a choice. Everybody who can actually do anything needs to move their tails and... and oh, there's a, there's a permanent nest! Looking good! These two will not be having any more babies. Our starting pair will not be having any more babies. Nope, nope, nope. Can't make me not gonna... Okay. Oh my goodness. This is a really nice little island. There's a couple of permanent nests. Well, this is an easy island to start on. We're not, we're not supposed to stay here longer than... Um, longer than a minute or two. Maybe this episode and the next, just to store, shore up our, our food supplies, but we're not supposed to live here. But I'm not seeing any mates show up. And we have, we have three growing boys who are going to need their own, their own mates soon enough. But so far this little family is enjoying themselves, they're having a great time, the Bishop clan. And so our choices will be to go to this safe flowery island to the west safe flowery island to the east or up to the mysterious north hmm any place if we if we decide to go any place that's even remotely dangerous i i need to make sure we have food cuz uh this game is known for just being brutal and destroying everything that you know and love so <laughs> Oh, Takir Kir, Lemire, Twilight, what do we do? Oh! New friend has showed up! It is Coco! And Coco... Coco has a... Ooh, Coco has nimble fingers. And she can crack things. Her fighting is silly, silly low, but that's... Let's pull this down. She's G and A. She'd be good with Asai. Cause he's part of the he's he, he's the one I want to have our berry picking line. Is the genes good? Are the genes good? B and D, G and A. Yes. Okay. All right. Now we're off. We're off to a good start. Invite her into the family. Hi, Coco. Come down this way. Asai is going to meet his new little friend. 
you know, talk for a day. Um, yeah. Meet our new little red friend, Coco. Hi, Coco. Let's check a look at her, her jeans. She has decent sight. She has the nimble fingers that we want. Good hind legs. Look, 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 look. She has violet eyes and active. Oh, that's cool. Let's see, let's see. For our berry picking line, what type of, uh... What type of patterning do we want? Because I really can't do too much to condition how well they behave. But right now, I can, uh... I can throw in some different patterns. So let's throw in pattern A. And... I like the violet eyes. I like the violet eyes. Uh, what else? Mm, let's throw a mask. Ooh. I don't know what they're gonna have. And let's always throw in good eyes. Always throw in good eyes. And we have... We have, we have no, we do not have enough food. Everybody pick a, everybody pick from a berry bush. Everybody pick from a berry bush. Don't, don't look at me like that. Go pick from a berry bush. You too. Why are you sitting in this nest? <laughs> don't just sit there. Find a bush. Destroy it. Okay. Zircon is just running around destroying things. He's like, ah, wait, food. <laughs> Uh, Takir Kir is just kind of laughing at his sons, like, you know, this is not the end of the world. And they're like, Dad, there's not enough food! And he's just sort of chuckling. Alright. Lemire is having a good time. She's, she found, she's sitting between two berry bushes. She really can't do too much with them. She could pick one at a time. But I think she's proud of herself either way. Alright. Everybody went to sleep for the day. Let's take a look at our island. And next day. All right, let's have these two have a baby. No? Come on, one more time. Yes! All right, Dad, get out of the way. He's gonna destroy this berry bush over here and he's gonna run. Okay, and Asai's going to claim, oh, it's, it's a tree. Look, look, look. Let's pull all the way out. You can see the tree. So Asai, Asai and his mate Coco have claimed this tree as their own, which works out fine because because of her nimble fingers. Asai is really proud of himself. He has a mate. He has a tree. He has, he can, has a beautiful view of the ocean. Like, wow. You know, he's done pretty well for himself for being the youngest of the family. Yeah. And so he's just going to clear out the grass, and we'll see what type of baby they have. Here's Lamire, Mama. And she's just going to clear out the grass a little bit, too. We, we, we're good on food for a little bit. Um, Twilight. What am I going to do with you, Twilight? You just sort of wander around, buddy. I don't, Twilight's not in any particular, any particular kind of hurry. And neither is Zircon. They have food. And... I don't know. They've 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 all, they've always just sort of been like, ah, oh, if it happens, it happens. All right. Moving on. One more day. New baby. Let's see our new baby. She's a girl, and she has the purple eyes. What? Anna May. And that's not going to stay your name. Let's change your name right now. She has the purple eyes, and. She's kind of red. Hmm. Hum. We're gonna call her Foxberry because that's the name I see here. The first of the berry line. Looking good. All right, and these two are just gonna, they're really happy. Coco is pleased because she is an older lady. She has her, her first little daughter. And Asai is really happy. He has, a, he has a sweet little baby. He has a happy mate. And everybody's safe. And everybody's going to shut their eyes for the day. It's been a busy day. Takir Kir, that's his first... That's these, these two, that's their first granddaughter. Hopefully more to come if we can find another mate for their, for their other two sons. Oh, 
Which reminds me. Uh, oh, dang. She has Velvet Paw. I mean, she could still pick. We really need to get that, those nimble, nimble fingers in. Let's try again. Oh, hey, look! New friend! New, very young friend. Hello. Is this Anna? Hmm. She's very young. Where did she come from? She's a baby. Hi. Goodness. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna invite her in. Let's let's check her genes. A and D. She's a low. She's a low fertility. She has blue eyes. I love the goldenrod fur. Ugh, again with this inactive blindness. All right. Well, she's not bad. So let's let's invite her in. We could always use another helping paw. What's up with you, Twilight? You keep finding people. <laughs> I think Twilight's just gonna keep an eye on her. Maybe that's his adoptive daughter now. Ooh. Let's see. And Zircon. Zircon is going off into the woods. Go, Zircon. Maybe you can find the f find yourself a special friend. Okay. Looking good. Next day. Look at this precious little girl. I love you. I love you, Foxberry. Ah, okay. Foxberry's gonna pop up out of the nest. Uh, Coco's gonna pick that bear, pick that nut. She's really happy, and she's just gonna sit down next to her daughter. And Asahi's gonna come over, and they're gonna make another baby. All right. Everybody's looking good. And I only have three food left, so. Everybody finds it, find a bush. Everybody find a bush and destroy it or do what you gotta do, but we don't have enough food. All right, and here in the shadows, Twilight has found himself a new little apprentice. It's a, it's a Sana with her lovely green eyes. And I think she has a big body. Yes, she does. Big body. She might be too big to hide in the shadows very much longer. But she's not she's not big enough not to pick berries. So <laughs> we'll see what Twilight can take can teach her. And over here, wandering around in the grass, I'm gonna need a mate for him soon. I don't want Zircon to just pass away. Okay. Here's our family. Everybody's looking good. Coco's just looking around like, hmm, I can't reach anything, so I can't pick anything with my lovely nimble fingers. And I'm pregnant, so yeah, guess this is my life. Okay. <laughs> next day. Ready? Are you ready, Coco? Yes. Okay, next day. Whoa! 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 Look at them! Her! Little girl, hello! Goodness! Okay, she's got a mask. She's got the beige pattern with the red going on. I love her horns. Hmm. But she doesn't have the purple eyes that we wanted. Okay, but that's okay. That's fine. And let me check out your thing one more time. She has no. All right. So because I yeah I don't have I haven't unlocked the nimble fingers just yet. So I think for right now we're just gonna focus on looks. And we are going to get purple eyes, because that's what's important in this in, in the berry in the berry tribe of the family, berry side of the family. Purple eyes. Hmm. Foxberry, you come down here. Ooh. Hey, Dad, can you get that? I say, can you get that? Yes, yes, he can. Good job, I say. Nase is bringing his daughter down to see the berry bushes. I think this is the very first berry bush that he saw. Oh, that's so sweet. It's a father-daughter mo father bonding moment. Oh, how nice. Uh, uh, no, okay. Takir-kir? Takir-kir is getting really old. 
So here, here, go find down this this berry bush and destroy it. Lamire is gonna stay over here. She's gonna pick from this berry bush and she's gonna stick close-ish to her mate. Um, let's see. Twilight has his young apprentice Isisana. And she's learning all about the ways of sneaking in the darkness. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Enzir Khan's over here in the in this shadowy little patch. He's not into hiding as much as a, his brother is, but uh, it does help with sneaking up on this these bunnies. Can you guys see the bunny? There's a bunny here. Can you see it? Yes, bunny. Enzir Khan is like slap. <laughs> No more bunny. Actually, is he is he being camouflaged though? I don't think he is. Oh yes, he is. He has a because the grass isn't cut. Ooh, I'm gonna have to remember that trick. So maybe the bunnies will still appear if you're hiding. Hmm. I'm not. I, I just pulled on our smell our smell gauge. I'm not smelling anybody new. Yeah, we might have to get off this island if we want Zircon to survive. Hmm. Alright. Alright, Zircon. Next day. I thought I heard somebody walking around. Oh, I did hear somebody walking around. Look at that! Okay, there's a there's a potential new friend here. Go, Twilight. Twilight, you are our finder. Ooh, she's pretty. Resilla. And she's got the horns. Ah, she's got a bad paw though. But she's got the horns. Let's see. Yeah, she got a deformed paw, but she's got nimble fingers. And you know we love nimble fingers in this tribe. She's the I and C. And right now is a good, good good time not to be picky with your genes. You want to pull in as much, many as you can. Hmm. And she's got bad eyes. Ah, but she's pretty. Mm. Can't afford to be picky. Okay. Welcome into the family. Hello. Twilight, you've been an excellent finder with finding everybody. This is Anna's who gonna have to, has a lot to learn from him. And we are going to send Rusilla over to yes, Zircon. Zircon, you're gonna have to find a nice berry bush for her to to to, to take over. Yeah. Yeah, these two should make a nice pair. All right. Actually, I think everybody has somebody. Ooh. Okay. Yep. The three lines have all have a mate. Uh oh, Coco's end, nearing the end of her lifespan. So, Remy, I didn't give you a new name. Hang on, Remy. You cannot be Remy. We are going to call you Juniper. Awesome. Okay. Out of the nest room. Out of the nest room, Jimber. <laughs> ah, darn it. No, that's not what I wanted you to do. That's okay. <clears throat> I say he's like, yes, my child. Look upon these fields. Everything you see is, is a potential berry bush. She's like, yes, Dad. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So <laughs> these two are just having a good time. And I say he's going to pop back over and he's going to mate with his mate one more time. Okay. Oh, and these two are getting very old. Today is their last day. Oh. And she'll pick from Miss Berry Bush one more time and she'll dig a hole. And so Kier is going to stay real, real close to his mate. And they've, they're, they're going to be satisfied that they've done well. They've raised three 
healthy, beautiful boys who all found different mates and they how they managed to make sure that everybody is healthy. And really, what else could you ask for? Not much. So Takir Kir is going to do one last thing. He's going to swat down this berry bush. And he's going to sit next to his mate and they're going to enjoy the breeze one last time. Goodbye. Oh, thank you, you two. Thank you. The founders of the Bishop clan, clan have died. And the boys mourn on this rainy day. This rainy day, which is also a blessing. Because rainy days mean that the food has started to regenerate. And she's going to drop a nest right there. Yeah. Darn it, no! I forgot about the thing! Okay. Ah. Alright, it's a potential that these two may have a blind child, maybe, but... Hopefully, what I'm doing now will stop that. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's... Let's go with orange eyes. Let's, let's have our strength line try to pass down these fierce-looking orange eyes. Yes. Yes. He's gonna move her over here where she can she can carry catch where she can be around these berry bushes all day. Yeah, Zircon's very atten Zircon's a very attentive mate. Uh oh. It's Isana. She is an adult now. And so she's been spending her whole life with Twilight. Maybe a romance has started to bloom. He did save her life all those years ago. What type of uh, genes do we want to pass on? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, we want good paws. We want good paws and good eyes. Good paws, good eyes, always. Yes. Yeah, I think these two, he's watched her grow up from this little bitty cub into this big, gorgeous, goldenrod creature. And I think, I think they do love each other very much. Okay. Oh, yay! Oh, I forgot. These two were expecting another baby. And Anasi. Anasi, we're not keeping that name. Let's see. Down my list of things. Let's call her Rosehip. Nope. Rosehip. No reason, just it's there. So he managed to have all these little girls. Oh, Coco. Coco, I was really expecting to have more more berry picking babies, but you know what? That's fine. Maybe one of them will have a better chance of actually inherit of actually passing down your nimble fingers. And Foxberry. So far, they're doing a really, the girls are doing a really good job of keeping everybody fed, so I'm not I'm not upset with that. Okay, and we have two more babies left. I think we're gonna leave these two fam this this side of the family for next time. Yes. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us with the Bishop Tribe. I'm Miss C. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that little notification button in the corner, and we'll see how how well we do. Bye.